Hi boys and girls, today we're going to read Summertime Sleepers, Animals That Hibernate. No, Estivate by Melissa Stewart, illustrated by Sarah Brannon. Shh, it's not time to hibernate, it's time to estivate. Estivation is just like hibernation, only it happens in summer instead of winter. Why do some animals settle into cool, snug spots and sink into a summertime sleep? because it's too hot for their bodies to function or their food is in short supply. Some estivating animals sleep in groups, others rest alone. Some go on a long journey before they slumber. Others hunker down right at home. From the pixie frog to the spotted turtle to the desert hedgehog, discover how a variety of animals survive by taking a break during the hottest days of the year. Yawn, stretch, blink. As warm weather spreads across the land, hibernating animals spring to life. But soon another group of animals searches for shelter. They settle into cool, snug spots and sink into a summertime sleep called estivation. Some insects snooze in groups. In hot, dry places, hundreds of ladybugs pile inside a curled up cluster of leaves. Their hidden home keeps them safe while they sleep through summer. But others rest all alone. A morning cloak butterfly breaks out of its chrysalis in early summer. After guzzling tree sap for a few days, it slips into a crevice and nods off until the scent of fallen leaves fills the air. Some hard shell creatures climb up high for a nap. When the days grow long and hot, land snails cling to a tree branch and seal their shells shut. Their heart rates slow and they barely breathe as they wait for cooler days. while others doze underground. As the summer sun beats down, Christmas Island red crabs take refuge at the bottom of their burrows. Deep below the forest floor, they hunker down and sack out. Some fish cozy up quickly. For part of the year, an African lungfish slithers and glides in a shallow swampy pool, but when the water dries up, the fish burrows into the cool mud left behind. Slippery slime oozes out of its body, keeping the fish moist while it rests. But others toss and turn before catching their Z's. When the sizzling sun dries up, the mangrove, killifish's watery home, the little fish jump across land, flipping head over tail until they find a hollow log. Crammed inside this dark, damp, then, killifish wait for wetter days. If the dry spell lasts long enough, the little fish slip into a slumber until the rain returns. Some amphibians rest inside another animal's home. As the days heat up, a California tiger salamander scouts out an empty rodent hole and falls asleep. The cool, comfy burrow is the perfect place to spend summer. While others drift off in a nest they've built themselves. During the heat of summer, a pixie frog digs a hole in the ground, wraps itself inside a cocoon, and takes a good long break. When the rainy season returns, the frog rips off its wrapper eats it, and then scrambles to the surface. Some reptiles go on long journeys before they relax and repose. In spring, a spotted turtle travels to a vernal pool to gorge on amphibian eggs and tadpoles, but when the part-time pool dries up, the turtle has trouble finding food. It migrates to higher ground burrows into forest leaf litter, and conks out all summer long. But others stay at home to snooze. 
for most of the year, a leopard gecko hunts at night and sleeps the days away inside a cozy den. But at the height of summer, the little lizard retreats into its den for days or weeks at a time. As the gecko rests, it gets all the energy it needs from fat stored in its tail. Some mammals drowse for just a few days at a time. A desert hedgehog doesn't mind the heat, but it has trouble finding food on the hottest days of the year. To save energy, the tiny spiny critter curls up in a shady spot and takes a time out during heat waves. While others sleep for weeks and weeks. At the first hint of summer, a yellow-bellied marmot heads underground for some serious shut-eye. It slumbers through the hot, dry days until the grass it eats turns lush and green. When autumn arrives, estivating animals wake up and enjoy the crisp, cool days. Meanwhile, another group of animals searches for shelter. They nestle into warm, snug spots for a long winter's rest called hibernation. Yawn, stretch, sleep. 